so uh, today uh, we will be covering up on how to uh, use the integration suite in a business technology platform so we will log into the sap btp uh, cockpit uh, log in and uh, also register the integration suite and uh, the configuration for it uh, how to open it and everything uh, let's uh, start with that demo and i will walk you through all the steps that are required so first uh, as you remember from our last uh, session uh, we have created an account uh, in the sap hana trial version uh, we registered our email id and everything and and then uh, the we were able to sign so now uh, from uh, that onwards we can now use the same credentials uh, here is the signing button so you can go to account.hana on demand.com and then uh, there is a sign up sign in button uh, you can use the PID that was generated last time or you can use your email ID as well I'm using my PID uh, and once you give the credentials it will be it will get the uh, PID authenticated So my credentials were already in, so it is directly taking me to the BTP co cockpit. Now, once you uh, log in, uh, we have an option to uh, go to our trial home. Uh, trial home, click on trial home. Uh, you will be routed to your uh, main dashboard where you can uh, do all your uh, future activities. So this is a global uh, trial home that is provided by BTP uh, trial account. You can allow this. These are just cookies. You can allow them and then go to your trial account. So the, here, this is our global account. Uh, and now I will go to our sub trial uh, sub account that is our trial uh, that was create uh, that we used last time. So click on it. So now uh, once you are on, on the overview page, you can uh, click on services and service marketplace. So what we are doing is we are adding a subscription for uh, integration suit. So you can uh, just type in here in the integration suit. So here you see, uh, click on it. Uh, integration application services and system across landscape right so uh, we don't have an application to go to directly so what you have to do is we have to subscribe to it and you can just click on uh, create and keep everything as uh, default so we need not to use any other service integrations suit that we want to use and the plan so this is a trial plan uh, click on create and it is getting uh, created so the request will get completed once the subscription is done so we can close this window now what uh, what you can do is all your subscriptions and instances you can uh, go again under services uh, instances and subscription so the the new integration suite that we uh, just now added uh, should be displayed here okay so it's giving today's date and all now uh, the next step should be uh, let me duplicate this page and I wanted to quickly uh, give additional access to the current user uh, to work with integration so this step is uh, crucial uh, under security security option we have users uh, click on users and select your username the roles so now you can uh, search integration provisioner so assign role creation you can search for integration provisioner select this and assign the role to the existing user okay now 
going back to our uh, application so integration suite uh, we can click and now uh, click on go to application you can directly traverse to your application now so by default there are uh, when you go into your business uh, sorry integration suite you will have to uh, do further more configurations on this page So by default there are no capabilities added so click on this button to add capabilities for this sap integration suit okay so now once the activities uh, so the active cap capabilities are loaded uh, you see there's like design develop and operate integration scenarios design uh, manage APIs, mapping API, so uh, extend non-SAP uh, connectivity, manage and provide integration technology guidance. So we can select whatever is required uh, for us for the next. So uh, here let's select uh, design related implementation interface, uh, implement interface and mappings, uh, managing the partners and uh, open connectors, uh, I think we can we can select everything that we have for now uh, so that it will be available uh, now next messaging queue uh, is also we are uh, let's subscribe to that too and then next uh, configure API management we are not uh, doing that and next open connectors and integration so we can just click on activate so once you select all the capabilities for our integration uh, suit, uh, it will take some time and you can see the progress here. Uh, it, it takes around some time before all the capabilities are added. So I'll just click on OK and close. Now uh, after some time we can see uh, the capabilities should be. Uh, so here are the capabilities you can see. Uh, it will be added so let's wait for some time so now i just uh, clicked on the home page after a few minutes uh, and you see all the capabilities are now present on the uh, home page itself for the integration suit uh, you can see, manage your capabilities by clicking on manage capabilities and and see all the active status for all the capabilities that we have and you can edit all the options as well uh, you can deactivate or uh, make the changes from here now uh, going back i i can open and like uh, but the urls you see here <coughs> uh, i still will not be able to access the design and uh, the services url because uh, i have not given the respective uh, access to the users so let's go back and and add a uh, few more um, options to our uh, so when you click on um, the user you can uh, assign more more roles to it like uh, search for pi and you will have PI related administrator business expert and integration developer access then uh, search for API you have app, app admin uh, you have catalog integration and self-service administrator you need, don't need a guest account for that and then uh, also for connectors so cloud open cloud uh, open connector user you can you can assign that too and uh, click on connectivity i don't think yeah so this this should be enough you see here all this uh, roles are assigned to this current user uh, and i will click on the assign you uh, roles and now let's go back and refresh this page uh, one more time and i think then and now we can we can use all this capabilities from integration suit
yeah you see here now you have options like uh, discover integrations manage and provide guide uh, so these links are now available and you can click and create on integration so you can you can start building your integrations here uh, you can see all monitoring artifacts so currently there are no integrations we have not created it you can click on uh, the create button and start working on so these are all uh, so you have this design page open so you have now the access to create your own uh, integration packages okay so uh, i think yeah the, this will be it for today's session and uh, we'll continue uh, back tomorrow on more details for now. I think this would be it and thank you for joining guys